Bing, we're live. It's Sam and Nicola, and it is the Ken Peck Scrum on Monday when it's a holiday in the US, so not many of us here. Um, updates from me. I've just done the autograder beta salsa meeting, client meeting. Yeah, uh, the, the, the instructors were in. I mean, academics don't usually have holidays uh, because they've got their classes all starting. Um, we're busy wrestling with different, you know, ha ha the C9 education framework and, you know, trying to make it easy for them to set up with lots of students having access to the same same staff. Uh, we started actually updating the setup script for the uh, MOOC class, um, which is, I think, a step in the right direction. Um, at the Elixir mob with myself and Federico, and we, you know, pushed a little bit further forward through the Mastering Phoenix book. That was kind of good. Yeah, um, I, I've got my... Um, Oh, God, the, the one thing I'm sort of blocking on is I, I think I've got all of this premium sponsor stuff sort of for website one, but I'm getting like into it, what starts to seem like intermittently failing JavaScript capybara tests is such a such a pain. Um, it'd be very frustrating if that blocks the release of this um, this feature. Anyway, uh, come on, next we've got the website one meeting where we can maybe discuss that more. And uh, yeah, probably I think postponing the community meeting. Um, Nicola, how are things with you? Uh, with me, fine. Uh, I have to fix the Twitter um, the Twitter shim that is using website one. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know why it's failing. Uh, so I, I'm checking out and trying to to discover <laughs> what is what is failing there. So mm -hmm. yeah, I'm working on on that now. And ah, I have a question about the C9 because um, yeah. uh, as now it's integrated with Amazon, I mean, Amazon bought uh, C9. Um, yeah. Maybe you have some scripts that you can run as programmatically for adding the emails of the students as users in a C9 environment. Well, because I saw the policies. Um, I saw the policies in AWS, and they they have policies for C9. So maybe that it will give you some autonomy. Right. Yeah. yeah, that's an interesting way of look. At that that's certainly like the one of the professors I was just talking to is who's working with his TAs, and his TAs are looking into scripts to do that thing because they've got like 160 students that they. Yeah want to sign up um and yeah you're thinking like maybe the aws might support like a bulk sign up yeah because for example you create a, a user that is an admin that mm -hmm. admin it will have the right to create another em users so right. programmatically you will be able to add them to different environments inside c9 yeah yeah no that makes that makes sense i think that the, the yeah definitely worth i'll mention it the the um the, the challenge with that is um, that at the moment, the AWS thing seems to set up the users in a completely different context from the educational one. Um, but that, yeah, definitely worth, thing, wor uh, worth uh, looking into. Yeah, okay. cool. I'll mention it to Richard. Nice one. Good suggestion. OK, well, I'll just shut this down. And uh, we've got the website one meeting. So I'll maybe see you in a moment. Yeah, sure. See All you right. there. Thanks. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Cheers.